Welcome to Listertainment, the channel that starts with a lie since it never lives up to its name. This video is sponsored by my bookie, more on them any second. And we're back with another 10 morons wanting to show the abilities they learned while watching YouTube videos from their couch with Doritos on one hand and a monster on the other. These guys are living in some sort of fantasy world where they think that they will walk into a gym and be so good, never having trained a day in their lives, that they will shock everybody and they will get some sort of contract right there on the spot. But in reality, they get crushed and their dreams get shattered real quick, as it should be, because if you are this cocky, you will only get hurt if you actually fight in a professional fight. Let's get this started. This is apparently an internet troll who made the mistake of challenging an MMA fighter and an angry fighter at that. And I can only wonder what this guy was saying before the fight to get him this angry. Pretty sure this guy could have ended the fight in under 20 seconds. But with all that crowd cheering you on, hoping that this guy is taught a lesson, he couldn't help himself and he just started showing off. To this guy's credit, he didn't give in for almost two minutes, which is incredible because he took some damage even losing his glove. And just so you know guy, that dueling glove is thrown before the fight. Now we have coach Mercedes one more time. This time though, he shows the gym stormer in red a lesson by allowing him to spar with a 16 year old amateur. At first, this guy was just talking smack until the coach heard him and told him to get his gloves on. I mean, what the hell is this guy even doing? His hands are all over the place, not even defending anything in particular. Then he just starts leaning on his opponent, maybe hoping to stop the onslaught. Jump, jump. Jump on the ground, yeah. Then we see what happens with every single challenger. They get exhausted. This wasn't even a minute long, and he didn't really throw any punches, but he just gave up and turned his back. Don't turn your back. I didn't hear a bell, did you? Well, the amateur didn't either, so he went and just finished him, although he held back a ton, because that's the discipline you get when you actually train for this. This random guy actually walked into the gym and brought a cameraman, thinking that he was going to show the world something special. He's the guy in all black and basically does nothing for the entire first round, getting caught a few times. Then look right here, he's got some sweet quick feet moves. Oh wait, never mind. Then he got scared and was falling for every single feint that was shown to him until the pro just went right in there to finish him. Come on, hand up, hand up, nigga, hand up, hand up now. Hand up now. His cameraman was cheering him on, giving him some great advice. But I mean, if you have to tell your guy to put his hands up, something is really wrong. I think he's feeling that kidney shot more than anything else. That was a clean shot. What do you get when you have a huge guy that is drunk watching some Muay Thai fights? Well, you get this moron stepping into the ring and getting destroyed, so much so that even the beer won't take the pain away. This pro is obviously not the best Muay Thai fighter, but this guy is so bad that he is able to land kicks at will, and with some patience, he lands some beautiful shots too. It devolved to this guy just trying to smother the Muay Thai guy with his body while trying to land shots, but from that distance, it looks like a teddy bear trying to hurt somebody. It was just a fun fight that was entertainment for a bunch of drunk guys. This starts out with a surprise as the challenger actually lands a really good punch. Then the pro is like, okay, time to take it to the ground and then goes to take him down like a father trying to pick up his kid that is running away from him.
There were some good elbows to the back, but then he goes down and it's time for the pro to go to work. He gets the top position and almost allows the challenger to get up, just so he could get the chokehold in place. Bro, bro, take it. Take it. They go one more time, and this time the pro doesn't want to just end it. He just starts beating him while having full control. And then we gotta give it up to this guy. He's actually kind of cool, realizing that he just got schooled and goes for the humble acceptance and shows him respect. What is your name? Joaquin! Sir. I am Dawuda! What, sir? Thank you for testing my battle on my This guy in black is named Dara Ta, and he trained for 30 days inspired by fight commentary breakdowns, and then challenged a local pro, and within 30 seconds, he knew things were different here. People do do this, right? I just want to make that clear. Dara's trained 30 days straight in MMA to try to take on- First off, this guy forgot he was in an actual fight, and he was throwing the softest jabs and punches I've ever seen. But Steph Murray, the pro, started hitting him hard, and the first lesson he learned is that leg kicks hurt like a motherfucker. Uh, Stefan, um, just taking it very easy. Oh, 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 ooh, okay. Then they go for a little grappling, and the pro just manhandles him. And Dara is very willing to go for a ride, not putting much resistance. The agreement is, and Dara, let us know what the agreement is. Um, uh, did you? After Murray realized that this guy is not ready for anything, he just starts showing off, putting him in a triangle, and then lets it go, and then giving him a good spinning fist. Um, okay, this might be triangle time, so Dari, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Um, Americana time. Oh, Stefan's like, she's in this <laughs> Then it's time to end it, and Murray goes for the body punches in order not to hurt this guy too much by punching him in the face. <laughs> He's using this to practice stuff, like practicing his head movement, practicing his spinning elbow, practicing his body shots. Oh, 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 oh that might... This has to be one of the only videos where I have seen that the trained guy goes full out from the beginning. Usually they are trying to gauge their opponent and teach them little lessons in between, but this guy just goes straight for the finish. That was a 10 second submission from the much smaller trained guy. They go for a second time since the big guy said that he got lucky. And guess what? It's another easy grappling session right back into another submission. He is breathing so hard, but goes again and actually gets a position for a trip this time. But somehow he still ends up at the bottom. This guy gives them out faster than a prostitute, and now he's in an actual painful submission. Lesson learned in under a minute. This guy in black shorts was so confident that he walked into the gym and immediately challenged the instructor. He even made a bet. If he made the instructor tap out, he wins $1,000, and if he loses, he has to sign up for his classes. Well, he just tapped out a dozen times that weren't even shown on this video. Uh -oh. <laughs> you tapped out? You tapped out? <laughs> the instructor is playing with this guy, even though as you can see he has a brace on his ankle as he had hurt it recently, but still took the challenge. Then at the end, they put up a student who also took him down with a beautiful double leg, at which point he just gave up from exhaustion. Plus, that student is pretty big, and he landed with all his weight right on top of him. Here we have what they call a dojo stormer, getting a harsh lesson after he walked into the checkmat Brazilian Jiu Jitsu school and the instructor handed him the lesson. At first he's just playfully taking control and just slapping him to show his dominance and how mistaken he was. I mean you want to fight, um the most story I could get out of this situation was that 
He could have choked him out, but he's really trying to teach him a lesson. Then he goes for the real thing and he taps out. But according to the story, this guy walked into the gym and took a swipe at the instructor. So now he's getting shown up. So here's the guy afterward, just sitting outside, contemplating his life decisions. Because the coach went harder than what I showed you. Way, way harder. This video comes from ShadyFlex1, who goes to the gym where this guy shows up regularly, and he just straight up bullies teenagers by sparring with them and going really hard. Well, Mr. Shady decided to teach him a lesson and go for five rounds. So as you can see, he is terrible, always off balance and lunging trying to get some good hits. And he doesn't even get close. Are those even jabs? They're more like he's swatting at flies and then he gets dropped. Shady also said that he wasn't even going hard here. He was planning to turn it up in the second round. And guess what? This guy never came out after the first. This is where Shady realizes what this guy has and just starts playing with him, dropping his hands and is setting him up in order to land something big. Then this is the point where you know that this guy lost. He grazes the pro with a body shot and he just goes and points it out like a freaking kid. Freaking embarrassing. If you happen to enjoy this video, please give it a like as it really helps out with the algorithm. And also please subscribe and turn on the notifications to see more videos from me. And of course, please make sure to check out mybookie.ag, who is the sponsor for this video, and go ahead and use my promo code LIST. I think there has been a time where we were all so confident in ourselves that we tried to show off. For example, I thought I was pretty good at doing kickups with a soccer ball, but once I tried to show off in front of a girl I liked and fell on my ass after I stepped on the ball by accident. <laughs> but I learned my lesson. Never put yourself out there. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just don't go and show off. And sometimes the girl will find it funny and still like you, even though your world was shattered. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.